Yes, good morning. Um, this morning we're here at uh, RUVAC headquarters in Holyoke, Massachusetts, and we're going to be demonstrating their uh, model NA35 explosion-proof vacuum with immersion separator, along with two 12,000 RPM uh, die grinders with uh, Clayton Revolution shrouds using the, the, uh, the uh, roll lock discs. We're going to be grinding some of their composite material uh, with both grinders running simultaneously and the back and the vacuum in the back. As you can see over here to my right, the vacuum has a Y connector hooked up with two 10 foot lengths of hose. So we'll be turning the vacuum on momentarily and we'll be running these tools on the composite material. The composite, as most people know, is a very dusty material when the dust is given off. So we're going to go over this several times to show how the revolution shrouds work and, this, and the dust collection. At some point during this demonstration, we will turn the vacuum off and create the dust so you can see exactly how much dust is generated in the process. So at that point in time, uh, uh, you will see that. You will see that. Um, but before we're going to get started, uh, uh, Ray McCarthy of RUVAC is going to be joining me using the, uh, the other tools. So two of us will be grinding simultaneously. Uh, on the model NA35 uh, RUVAC explosion proof machine. Okay, Ray, we're going to turn the, uh, the vacuum on. Eric, thank you. As you can see, we've got two tools. You can hear the suction through them using a 3 inch ball lock spacer by 3M. Okay, Ray, I want to demonstrate what you do. Now that we've done that, we've run both tools with dust collection. It'll be now running both tools with no dust collection. And see the significant change. Uh, excuse me, what we all of a sudden don't have any air. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Ready, Ray? I'm ready. Smell it and taste it. Big, big difference there. As you can see with the two inch revolution shroud using the 12,000 RPM dot go tool, there was full capture uh, up until the point where the vacuum was shut off and uh, the dust was generated significantly. Thank you. 